when I was in high school. I was reading everything, physics, biology. I think this is when I started get, really getting into science. As a child, I was very curious about things uh, and I wanted to know how and why behind almost everything. I knew that research was my calling when I joined City of Hope. Pretty young, I've always been interested in science. I knew like this is the place that I want to be. I was looking up graduate programs that had good translational research opportunities, and that's how I found City of Hope. I attended a seminar about the clinical trials they're doing and this new technology. Wow, they have a graduate program, and I'm getting there. <laughs> I work on antibody drug conjugates, which is attaching a drug to an antibody for targeted delivery to the tumor sites. My first rotation, we were working on COVID diagnostic machine. We were actually building the machine. For my second, I was working on a CAR-T lab, which is therapy for cancer patients. Do some hands-on research, do some reading, and then you learn from all the amazing mentors. And once you learn, you will feel like you're a part of something that's amazing here at City of Hope. Because I came from biochemistry, some people come from biology, computer science, and that first year is really to get everyone up to speed. The program is really diversified. There are so many people from international backgrounds all over the place. Even in science-wise, everyone has a whole different perspective, which is really nice. City of Hope has state-of-the-art equipment. You know, you make something and then you inject your sample. Oh my God, this peak is my product. Like I made it, you know, that's really cool. And so to actually learn how to use these machines is really um, important and I think unique to City of Hope. You know, when I started out as a graduate student, I was given a project that was to combine oncolytic viruses and CAR T cells. You know, when we first started, we didn't think that it would work. It was just a cool idea. And we realized we found something here that nobody has done before. We're able to publish a science translational medicine paper. We will be going into trial hopefully early 2022. I mean, it's really cool to know something that I've been working on will potentially go into patients. I mean, it, it just is a real world impact. They could turn basic research into clinical trials in under five years or four years, which is insane. really cool place to live. You can go snowboarding and go to the beach on the same day. LA is in a really great location because it's close to a lot of national parks. Ooh, hiking is honestly amazing. There are some insanely amazing hikes just within reach here, like national parks, which are, again, pretty close, you know? It doesn't matter where you're from, what your background is, as long as you have a genuine love of science, when you come to City of Hope, you're going to share that love of science and the excitement for the next discovery. Through science and research, I was also able to satisfy my curiosity itch. No day's ever the same. I don't think science is boring. You just never know what's gonna happen. And I realized that in science and medicine, you never stop learning.